Baroness Nicholson of Winterbourne. Uh, my Lords, it is a very great honour and pleasure to follow the noble Lord, Lord Winston. I thank him immensely for all that he's done to bring us to this uh, particular situation, but my first thank you must go to the noble Lord, Lord Lucas, for giving us the amendment, for putting it down with other amendments, which the noble Lord, the Minister, has felt able to accept. May we all thank the noble Lord, the Minister. He has put tremendous work in the last few days, particularly and earlier, into ensuring that the detail of this bill is as perfect as it possibly can be. Indeed, he first of all uh, uh, gave attention to the expansion notes and uh, uh, revised those and improved them. And then he most generously offered a review, which is a wonderful offer, and we're all looking forward immensely to maybe discussing that, participating in it, and debating it at a later stage. That's a wonderful offer as well. And today, of course, he's really, really broken the tape, as it were, the winner, in that he has accepted Lord Lucas's amendment. I was fortunate enough to be able to put my name forward in time for Lord Lucas's amendment, and uh, many amendments, and I support the amendment that says, leave out person and insert mother. And indeed, as Shakespeare says, why not a mother? When I said a mother, methought you saw a serpent. What's in mother that you started it? I say I am your mother and put you in the catalogue of those that were in wombed mine. Now on Monday, it felt a little bit like that. When we used the word mother, it was as if people were quite alarmed by the concept. It had to be a person. But today, it's all's well that ends well, where indeed that quotation comes from. I thank the minister immensely. But, of course, the first person to thank from uh, the back of the, from our bank benches must be the noble Baroness, Baroness Noakes, who opened up the entire debate on Monday by putting forward her regret motion. And that was the motion, a timely motion, a, a correct motion, that enabled all of us to open our hearts and our minds and discuss this from all corners of our opinion. And we really thank Baroness Noakes immensely for doing this for us and for not taking it to the vote, because that's brought us to today's happy uh, uh, moment when we have something that I think nearly all of us, I hope, all of us will be able to fully support and which will give the right to maternity allowances and so on to the noble lady, the noble, ba the noble lady, the Attorney General, who this bill aims to support. But the wonderful thing about the acceptance of Lord Lucas's amendment is that the very accurate criticism on Monday, and indeed in the other place, was that this was a bill designed to help one person only. And now, with the alteration of the wording from person to mother, this bill embraces everyone. It embraces the whole of maternity. It may not name everyone in there, but it opens the door to us having further debates and enlarging the maternity uh, support because there are certain pockets of gaps in maternity provision for women in the United Kingdom even now. And uh, correct, I thought, the uh, particular um, criticism of the bill that it was just a, for a single mother, but now it's not for a single mother. It's mother is for all mothers, and that's a wonderful thing. I'm really happy about that. Of course, there have been many other people working in the last two weeks, three weeks, and uh, as soon as uh, the discussion began several weeks ago, a, a large group of us almost coalesced. We coalesced with almost no, no, uh, no um, special drilling or anything like that, no, no um, organisation, no APPG, um, horrors, nothing like that. And yet, as we've already heard today and we'll be hearing more from, members of the group have been all working together from all corners of the House. The noble Lord, Lord Hunt, Lord Young, Baroness Morris, Lord Winston, Lord Treesman, very wonderful members of Her Majesty's opposition, were now all working together. 
I have mentioned the noble Lord, Lord Lucas. We have heard the noble Lord, Lord Lucas, Baroness Noakes, Baroness Altman, Baroness Eaton, Lord Balf, Bar Lord Polak, many, many more people on this side too that I can name. And indeed, we have the cross benches. We have uh, Lord Panic. We have Baroness Tiny Gray Thompson, who apologizes for not being here today because she's in another committee. She has been magnificent and will go on being magnificent. And Baroness Fox and Baroness Hoey, who are still to hear from, who have come from the non alliance and others, Lord Craig, uh, who we've already heard. So we have a big group, a large cluster, and it's growing every day. I can't name everyone. Safe to say that uh, we've built on the work of the other place, uh, the noble uh, Sir John Hayes and Andrew Rosendell, forgive me for not remembering their particular constituencies, and indeed we've had a lot of help from a variety of cross benches on both sides of the house. This is, I think, a beginning. It's a very wonderful beginning. It's the first step in clarifying some of the legislation that in recent years appears to have become rather muddled. And we are in the House of Lords, we have the time, we have the duty, we have the knowledge, and we have the obligation. We are people of service, people of public service, and we can do all possible to make absolutely certain that everything that comes through this House comes out again in absolutely perfect condition, suitable for the population of Great Britain and elsewhere. So may I once more thank the Minister, and just to make him laugh, tell him that this afternoon, the debate we need, he leads here, we've got a hashtag. And guess what the hashtag is? It's all over the web. The House of Lords, we have a hashtag. It's called Mum's the Word. Lord Duds of Duncan. It's a pleasure to follow the